Okay, so the last thing that I want to talk about the BAS model is about um, using simulation. So, you know, when you, I'm, sh I'm pretty sure that you guys have heard about Monte Carlo simulation, right? Monte Carlo simulation, let me just write down. Um, Monte Carlo simulation. So the Monte Carlo simulation is kind of like you randomly pick um, some random numbers and then uh, just run, plug it in the model, rerun the model several times to get a range of your outcome. So those are called, um, you know, Monte Carlo simulation. Uh, to make it more explicit, I'm going to show you in, in this example here. Um, so the first thing first, in this example, assume that you, uh, this area, the, the gray area, is the area where you kind of like assume some of the value for n bar and p and q. So for p and q, assume that you have uh, several products that you have launched earlier and you have estimated p and q for those products to be, you know, 12 combinations. Um, for n bar, you estimated n bar to have a, to have a mean of 100,000 shown in C2, cell C2, and you also estimated the sigma to be 20,000. So this is the estimation of the um, n bar and uh, P and Q. So um, to begin in cell C4, we want to just we want to just randomly pick the the value uh, from this mean and sigma from the normal distribution. We'll say row, make it an integer number, and then you say norm i n v. This is to randomly pick um, the value from the normal distribution having mean hundred thousand and sigma twenty thousand. So norm inverse, and then you say random. You pick any random number, and the mean is this one, and the standard deviation is this one. Uh, we close the parenthesis for the norm in i and v, and then we put zero because we route to the to the integer, and then enter. So this is the first random number. If you enter it again, the number will change. You know, it will change from any time that you randomly pick the number from and the distribution. So let's assume that you know you just randomly pick any number, and then um, in cell H1, we want to choose a scenario that sh chooses uh, the parameters from one of the twelve uh, products. Uh, these are the twelve products here. So we just do equal ran between 1 and 12. So this is going to randomly uh, choose any product to be uh, the representative of the product we want to estimate the sales for. Uh, and then we, you know, so this is randomly to be 6. Uh, the next one is in cell H2. We want to find the, the value for the P and the Q. So this is Easy. We have done this so many times. We're gonna do V lookup, and we want to look up from this table. Okay, and uh, okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. We want to look up from the uh, scenario six. Um, I already named scenario, so it shows scenario here. And what we want to look it up from this table right here. So it's starting from here up until D17. And column two, so the column two is for P and the column three is for Q. So next one is going to be Q, right? So um, for H3, we also do the, the same thing. So in this case, uh, this is going to be V lookup, and then we want to select scenario seven um, from this 
table right here and you want column three. So this is gonna be scenario three, 0 0.02 is copy here and 0 0.26 is copy as the same Q here. So you already have the simulated P and Q of your uh, scenario. So after that, we are going to do um, things in cell I. So in cell I, I, I six is just zero because the cells cumulative cell in the year zero is just zero. So in I seven, this is gonna be the sum of H six, uh, fix it up until, oops, I need to fix H six. And this is up until the current year H seven. So this is gonna be the cumulative sum you do it and then you just copy it down. Um, let's see, this is going to be just the sum from year zero to year two, you know, this is going to be the sum from year zero to year eight and so on and so forth. Okay. And next is that we want to work on the best model now. So in here, starting from uh, eight, cell H7, we want to plug in the best model formula. So this is P, so it's sim P. I already have the name for that. So sim P times sim n bar. Sim n bar is C4. And this is minus I6. So I6 is just a cumulative one. Oh, I'm sorry, I6 is three ways here. And then close the parenthesis plus sim q, sim q uh, times i6 and times uh, sim n bar uh, minus i6, okay? And everything is divided by uh, sim n bar, okay? So now you have your predicted um, bus model for each year. Um, once you have done that, we can use the one-way data table to simulate a hundred time um, for one year, five years, and ten year cumulative cells. So in order to do that, uh, in cell F22, so this is F 22, 2022 20, in H22. Uh, this is going to be the sales for one year, five year, and 10 year. So this is going to be equal to uh, I7. Okay, I7 is the cell, I7. <clears throat> uh, for the five year, this is gonna be th that one. Uh, I11, 11, 11, okay. And 10 year, this is gonna be I16. Uh, okay, so after we specify the same for the one year, the five years, and 10 years cells, then we are going to select the range from E22 up until H1022. So I can just do it up until row 1022 because we want to do it a thousand times of simulation. So let's just keep going. And then we'll do the data table soon. Let me just wait a little bit. I don't have to do a thousand if I don't want to, but let me just do it uh, to be similar to the to the to the um, recommendation or the 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 work the recipe provided by the textbook. So okay, I have selected uh, cells from E twenty two up until H, you know, a thousand and twenty two. So I have a thousand rows. Okay. Now, 
um after i do that then i have to go to um go to that table i'm oh, sorry what if analysis and go data table okay so for the for the row input uh, select any blank cell now select any blank cell as the column input cell to similar a thousand times so i'm just gonna put blank there oh i need to input cell or anything okay. i'm just gonna select any oops it doesn't work um, okay <laughs> now i'm back so um i knew what i did wrong so I just let this to be equal to the one year uh, simulation or sales of sale, uh, five year simulation of sale and 10 year simulation of sale. And then I forgot to have the, the number of runs that I want to run my simulation. Uh, in this case, I have up until a thousand runs. So I have, you know, I want to run uh, my simulation 1,000 times and I want to see what happened. In order to run the simulation, I have to select the entire table like that. So I just have to keep going. So this is going to take about a minute. So be hanging there. So let's just select all these range up until 1,000 times. So we'll be there. Dun, 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 dun. All right, how was there? Okay, so okay, up until one thousand, like that, and then I'm just gonna click on what if analysis and select data table. I'm not going to put anything in the row input cell for the column input cell. I'm just going to pick any 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 cell that is a blank cell. It's, this is not, not going to change anything. We just want to simulate the one year cell in column F, the five year cells in column G, and the 10 year cell in column H. So these two things are not really related. So we just mock it up to say, you know, column input cell is any cell. Uh, we have to put in at least one input cell so we just put column input cell because what we want to do it in column um, and then we click ok so now this is going to automatically generate um, the sales for one year five year and ten years for each simulation run so in this case we can find the average value of the sales here so this is going to go up until row 1022 i think and then we can also find the average in five years and 10 years. And we can also find the standard deviation is TDEV of this. And uh, so this is going to go up until 1022 row. Um, and we can find the standard deviation for these. So now this is pretty much it. So we have simulated. Um, the the cells the predicted cells uh we have the mean of cells in five years by running the simulation 10 times to be equal to uh 3563 um in five years you're expecting to sell 21,000, approximately 21,000 units in 10 years you can um, estimate to approximately sell for uh, 50,800. And this is from, you know, running the simulation 10 times. Uh, one thing though that while I was gone, I found out something that my first trial of simulation, I got the same number in all the rows here. And that's because I forgot to change um, my setting in, 
I think it's in in the formula. So I have to say calculation option, and I have to select automatically. Um, previously, I select automatic except for data table, and I don't want that. I want everything to be automatic. So if I click on that, um, the numbers here can change. So if your setting is similar to my, don't forget to change your calculation option to be automatic too. Okay, so I think everything else is finished for this chapter. Thank you so much for watching. Um, there's only going to be one chapter left, which is really, really a short chapter. So it should be done really soon. Bye-bye.